How's it going, folks? Brian Cusco here at Triple B. Snake mites, the bane of any snake keeper's existence. Because snake mites suck the blood out of your snake. But what are snake mites? Are they really a cause for concern? How do you know if your snake even has them? How can you get rid of them? Or even prevent them from showing up in the first place? We're gonna answer all those questions right now. You're watching Triple B TV. this mean? In all aspects of keeping snakes, there are usually many different ways to achieve success. How to deal with mites is no exception. But first, what are snake mites? Snake mites are essentially the reptile equivalent of fleas on dogs or lice on humans. The main difference being that where fleas and lice are insects having six legs, mites are arachnids and have eight legs. But regardless of how many legs they have, they are a nuisance all the same. But how serious of a problem is it for your snake? It is possible that blood-borne disease could be passed from animal to animal by mites, much like malaria can be transported via mosquitoes. In most cases, they won't cause any serious harm, but your animal will be suffering and uncomfortable until you get rid of them. And if left untreated, they could even kill your animal. Now hopefully it never comes to that. Not to mention, if you have snake mites, just like if you had head lice, Nobody's going to want to stand next to you at the party. Nobody's going to want to get snakes from you if you have mites. You might as well take your ball, go home, and treat it for mites. So how do you know if your snake has mites? If given the chance, a snake will often soak in water when it has mites. Though there are other reasons that a snake might soak, such as low humidity, overheating, or looking for a place to hide. So a visual confirmation of the mites themselves is highly recommended. Now this is just one more reason why it is imperative that you quarantine any new animals you have coming in. You will thank me and yourself by letting potential hitchhikers have a chance to show themselves before they ever make it into your snake room. If you're familiar with banana or coral glow ball pythons, then, for, then you're familiar with the joke that they will all have mites. The other joke that's going on right now is that every time you go to show a snake off on camera, he or she is deep in shit. It's okay, Maya. But in truth, it's much easier to see the specks and freckles on this banana ball python than it is to spot snake mites. Because as you can see in the photo here, from Rainbow's RS Reptiles, even a full-grown mite bloated with a belly full of blood is barely bigger than the lettering on a penny. So unless you have good eyesight, you might want to put your spectacles on or grab a magnifying glass. A couple of common mite hangout spots that you can check are surrounding the eye, in the chin shield and guler scales, or down by the cloaca. Though mites can and will drink blood from your snake between any two scales anywhere on their body. If you rub your hand along your snake's body, or better yet, use a paper towel, you should be able to see them fairly easily. They'll look like little pieces of black pepper and they will move slowly. So, now you've identified that your snake indeed has mites. If you have a number of animals, I feel for you because if you want to be sure you fully eradicate your infestation, you're going to have to treat every single enclosure and tub snake. So how do you get rid of them? Here's what I do. First, I use this product here called Reptile Spray. If you use this, make sure you read the directions. It says not to use it on your animal if it is shed within the last six hours. The directions also say you can spray it directly on your animal, avoiding the face and eyes. I like to be extra cautious with any chemicals, so I soak a couple of paper towels thoroughly with this stuff and lay them in the sink. Next, carefully remove the snake from the enclosure, take it to the sink, and give it a good wipe down with the spray soaked paper towels. Mites should just come falling off into the paper towel. And you can give your snake a little rinse with lukewarm water in between wipes, but make sure that you keep wiping them until the mites are no longer falling off onto the paper towel. Now place your snake in a holding tub while you treat the enclosure. If you have your snake on paper, you're in luck because chances are you spotted the mites early enough that they didn't spread to any of your other animals. You can never be too sure though because mite eggs are virtually invisible to the eye. If you had your snake on loose substrate, you want to be very careful in disposing of it if possible, cover the enclosure in a garbage bag or some kind of plastic while you remove it from your room and house. Young mites in their larval nymph stage are so light that they can actually become airborne, so you want to make sure that you disturb the substrate as little as possible. Dump that substrate 
into the trash bag and put it in your outside trash can or burn it if you're feeling crazy. No, 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 don't do that. Now wash your enclosure thoroughly with soap and water. Give it a good rinse and dry it out. Bring it back in the house, line it with paper towels. Do not put the water back in the enclosure. I repeat, do not put the water back in the enclosure because next you're gonna fog it up really good with this stuff here, preventamite. It has permethrin, which is the active ingredient in other pesticide treatment formulas such as NYX and RID. What I like about it is that it comes in the convenient little spray can. After you've fogged up your enclosure really well, let it air out for a good 30 minutes or so before returning your snake to the enclosure. If you have more snakes to treat, you can move on down the line and repeat this process while it's airing out. After about 24 hours, you can put the water back in your enclosure. Your snake should be fine without water for one day. If you follow these instructions to a T, all of the mites should be dead and you won't see them again. While I think that one treatment of Preventamite is sufficient to eradicate mites in all stages of their life cycle, you might consider treating two additional times about a week apart to be 100% sure they're gone. I also like to do a preventative treatment. Every month or so, I will spray Preventamite at all corners of each tub or enclosure and in every corner of the room. Make sure the area is well ventilated when you do this or wear a mask with a vapor filter. Breathing this stuff in is not recommended. It is designed to kill things after all. I've been using this stuff for years and have not once had mites show up in my snake room. In fact, the only time I've had to treat mites were on snakes that had just come to me and once on a snake that my dad picked up at a show. I used this same method that I just told you about and never saw mites again. As I said, this stuff is made to kill living organisms and when using poisonous products such as this one, exercise caution. You can potentially kill your snake with this stuff, so be warned. Are we good? Was it good? Does it sound like a pretty solid method? If you've had to treat mites before, what did you do? Did it work? Please share this video. I want to fill the comment section up with all the different experiences people have had with mites and how they successfully or unsuccessfully have dealt with them. I'll be reading all your stories. And you can find links in the description for several different methods including one from Stephen Katz of SBK Reptiles who uses Frontline to successfully treat for mites. All of these links will take you to videos that will teach you various methods to successfully rid your snake of mites. So, you've got options and choices. No matter what you do, you always have a choice. Remember that, okay? Alrighty, in the next episode, we're gonna go to Southern California to visit Jared Brown and Chris Lowe of Retake Relic. Be sure to subscribe, tune in, because it's gonna be awesome. And until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. I know, I know, I know. Ina, shnina, hona, hina. Hey na ho na hika hi ho here ah 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 if 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 given the chance even a full grown mite even a full grown mite bloated with first i use this product here called reptile